Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN, and today what we're going to try to do is repurpose a broken, um, I don't know, really, it's uh, very similar to a Diamond um, 510 or Watson 510 or, or one of those, uh, but this is actually a prototype antenna uh, that comes from DX Commander. Um, anyway, we're going to see if we can repurpose it because that's what we do. This antenna has been scrapped because the X Commander found some cracks um, along the top of the couplings. So it doesn't meet standard. Um, so I'm going to basically cut the, uh, the, the collars off of the antenna uh, and see if we can do something with it. So this is the um, prototype 2 meter 70 centimeter vertical. Uh, it's very similar in style and build to the Diamond uh, 510. Uh, but this is a prototype which uh, we've been given um, to take apart. Um, so this is what we're going to do. This is the very, very top section. Let's go to the center section. Probably going to be more of the same. No, the base section now. So this is the bottom. The very, very bottom bit. There's been one or two attempts made at this during its build, um, trying to get the, the correct value, two capacitors there um, in series, uh, which of course reduces the, um, the value. Um, and indeed it was soldered in a different couple of places on the uh, the coil by the looks of it until they've uh, gone to the the last turn at the top for this particular uh, antenna at least um anyway right let's uh, put it all together and then we'll walk up it so here's the base of the antenna and it's a very difficult one to to track um it goes for some six meters or so. Uh, I'll just turn it around and it keeps going. And as you can see, it still goes and it keeps going. Boom, 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 to the very end. But uh, I wanted to see if I could actually make another antenna out of this. Um, slightly shorter, perhaps. So I've made a 5 eighths wave for two and 70 centimeters. Um, and I've done this by leaving it um, intact up until it joins the first um, phasing coil or decoupling coil. And I've cut it at that point um, and then removed the rest of the antenna. In theory, it should SWR absolutely perfectly uh, as a 5 8 wave on 2 and 70. Um, and what I've also done is cut the pole, the, uh, the, the XO skeleton, if you wish, the fiberglass tube that it sits in uh, to fit the new 5 8 wave. Um, I need to put the... Um, the ground planes on these and I'm going to take all of the 
the additional collinear parts of this antenna um, and just put them to one side uh, and we'll put it back together and see if you've actually made a 5 8 wave or not. Okay, so it's not uh, exactly what you call the most perfect of tests, but it's um, on the ground. Straight on the bottom of the antenna. 3.30. SWR is 1.0708. Let's go to 145900. 1.02. Let's go down to 144400. Wow. Um, okay. That's cool. That is super cool. Let's go and see if we can open the glossy repeater from inside my kitchen. That's brilliant. Okay. Um, Stroud, which is uh, 70 centimetres. <laughs> oh, that is phenomenal. Seriously phenomenal. Very neat.